In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a customer support bot using Llama Index, Qdrent, and OpenAI. Now, what we're looking at here is an example. I got a ticket in this morning, and I plugged it in, and the answer that I got uh, is right here. And, and it has the, the correct answer in it as one of its troubleshooting steps. Um, and what you'll find quickly when you uh, start working on this is that there are a lot of little things that you can tweak to improve the end result. Now what's happening is when we put our query in here, um, our past tickets are stored in our Qdrent uh, vector store and the most similar tickets to our, our search here are pulled up and used as context for the large language model, in this case GPT-4, to be able to uh, come up with the best possible uh, response to our, again, our initial question. So uh, it's very simple. We're just uh, querying a, a vector store to get the best possible context for the large language model to then um, help, you know, create a good answer. So how does this work? Uh, Llama Index is the, the framework that we're using or the library that we're using. And if you haven't gone through the documentation, I definitely recommend it. Uh, the usage pattern guide here can get you pretty far because it goes through uh, everything that you need from loading the documents in to constructing your index and then uh, configuring your query to uh, do what you want it to do. So let's take a look at the code. Um, now, I like to break it up into two steps. First, I like to index my, uh, my data, my documents, and then separately query them. So let's look at that index and step right here. Uh, and so all of our dependencies aside, um, we need our open AI API key and we need a Qdrent API key as well. Uh, and then we can define our uh, language model, in our case, GPT-4, and create our service context, which uh, also has this parameter of the chunk size that we're using, which is pretty big at 4,000 tokens. Uh, and now we are going to get our data. So um, loading in our support tickets from a CSV file. And in that file, I've got some extra data that I want to use as metadata, which is our ticket ID, the date of the ticket, the ticket type. And from there, we can create our documents that get indexed into our Qdrent vector store. And we are done with that. So it takes about uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes to index 3,000 tickets. Uh, and once that's done, we are now ready to be able to query that. Now, you might say, okay, well, um, I don't want to use Qdrent. I want to do this locally. Well, you can do that using the... Uh, simple index. There are a number of different uh, vector store types that you can reference and use here. Um, I've done a video, I think, comparing Pinecone, uh, MyScale, and Qdrent um, as cloud sources that you can use. Um, and then I've also had success using Chroma as well. So check those out if you're curious. Um, but once the index is created, we can jump into um, query in it. And so here's the code for that, which again, dependencies aside, um, it's all pretty simple. So we got to recreate our uh, vector store again. And once we do that, we can define our question and answer template. And this is kind of the heart of the, uh, the query side, because here you can see where our past tickets would be pulled in. So uh, when we query our vector store, those tickets now are fed into our prompt and we give our language model some identity here. You are a customer support bot. Your task is to do X, Y, Z. Uh, make sure to address each part of the question and only use past tickets below. And so this is where I do a lot of tweaking of the, the prompt engineer and to, um, you know, elicit a better answer. And then also, uh, we are only retrieving the, the top five most similar tickets. And 
we're only retrieving tickets that uh, meet this cutoff, the similarity cutoff. So to give you an example, if I type in wubba 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 here, um, let's type it in. I get none. And the reason for that is because even though there are similar tickets to wubba wubba wubba, um, the, the similarity is like 0.75. And so anything below 0.8, it just returns none. And so here's our, our function to get that response. We are um, putting together our query engine using all of the above here. Um, and then I also like to save the input and the output and the, uh, the tickets that get retrieved uh, into a database so that I can troubleshoot later on if I need to. And then we've got a Gradio interface that we are creating to be able to do this. And it's very simple. This is what it looks like. It embeds into Hug and Face or it uh, integrates with Hug and Face pretty simply. And then from Hug and Face, you can embed this space into a website, which I've done uh, with success as well. So um, hopefully you found this useful. If you have any questions uh, specifically on any of these steps, that we've taken, then uh, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to dig in further. Um, but if not, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.